Alright, what's up guys? So, Midwest Safety has uploaded a video <clears throat> titled, The Worst Place to Shoplift. What is honestly the worst place that you can shoplift at? Like, I feel like a police station, um, a funeral home. I, like, I'm just thinking of, like, stuff just right off the top of my head, because, like, yeah, police station, funeral home, um, bank, uh, what are some other places? I feel like a funeral home is just the darkest. Like, I, that's something where I'm like, nah, bro. I think out of them, like, three choices, you hear of bank robberies. I, I'm just saying, like, you go and rob a funeral home? Nah, that's, that's, like, what do you take from a funeral home, though? Like, yeah, that, that would just be weird. That honestly sounds like one of those stories that it's like, it, it honestly wouldn't even surprise me if it was already a story, but no, it just sounds like one of those stories where it's like you read it or it goes viral like worldwide because of how crazy it is. So yeah, man, I, I don't know, but let, let's overall see what goes down in this video. Make sure if you guys haven't, go subscribe to uh, Midwest Safety for more videos like this. And then that being said, oh, they're going. You think you're bit? Since the pandemic, Retail theft and related crimes have been on the rise across the nation. Some cities have taken a passive approach, allowing retail crime syndicates to operate freely. Other cities have taken a more proactive approach, like Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. Dang, he couldn't do them cars. Hands up! Hands up! Get your hands up! Dang, where did they come off, from? Oh, wow. Now you gotta, you gotta damage that car. That's crazy. It's like, bruh, just stop the car. It's like you're a kite and all that. They got guns drawn on you. As officers get the driver out, another occupant in the vehicle has their own plans. Dude, don't try, don't try nothing with that dog there. Do not try nothing with that dog there. She better not try nothing. Why people said that they're recording? I wouldn't want to be. I wouldn't want to be next in those situations. I'm like, look, this, that's just me saying that in situations like this, people recording, standing around recording, it's not needed. All right, like if you can record maybe a few seconds, that's as far five second rule. Okay, record for five seconds, posting on Snapchat, going about your business. But it, it's it's things like that where it's like, okay, somebody gets to shooting in that car. Like, let's say, like, worst case scenario, somebody gets to shooting in that car. The cops, you know, they get shot. And it's like, it'll be a situation where they get shot in their arm and then they go back and they accidentally pull the trigger. And now you're, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, in cases and situations like this where there are all these cops are around, you got guns drawn all over the place, mind your business, go on home. Messenger ultimately surrenders. And it's just our first example to show how law enforcement are adapting to increasingly sophisticated and brazen shoplifting incidents that fund larger criminal organizations. The woman in the passenger seat was arrested, but it is unclear at this time if she was charged with anything. However, the driver was charged with operating the vehicle without consent, resisting a police officer, and possession of methamphetamine. Dang. The suspect in this next video was wanted for oh, questioning a in relation uh, to a retail theft at I the mall. I thought Mayfield. it was just like one uh, singular video, but okay. The mall. An officer pursued the suspect, but like the last video, shoplifters have become increasingly brazen and desperate as they work to meet goals set by their crime bosses. It should be noted this incident happened only two days after the first and would be just as unpredictable. It's like people, y'all gotta start getting jobs, man. Find okay, careers. Yeah, Earn hey, your money. I earned that check, oh, people. And they can't be on those stuff where it's all like um oh i i'm i'm sorry i like you're no you're like purposely driving away they know what they're doing oh now they want the man ahead of her is simply trying to fix his tire 
but this suspect risks putting him right in the line of fire if things go south. Stop right now. I'm about the U110 hundred block of Capitol. Why are they? We're still on the break. I don't know if they're going to keep going. They're behind a disabled vehicle. 146. I'll wait for another vehicle to come in case I exit and they take off again. Again, we're eastbound Capitol, about the 110 hundred block. But they could just like park in yeah, front park. and then because they look like they're yeah, in space, so. Unless they get out and they start Ten shooting, one. but. If one just wants to set up sticks ahead of us just in case. Officers yeah. arrived on scene and strategized on the best approach to the situation. Do you want me to approach and then if they take off, you can go? Sure. That works. How many, do you know how many occupants or anything? Maybe two. Huh? Maybe two. Hard to tell at the tank. Okay. Yeah, because that window is dark. You can't even see, like, is on the other side. Uh, I didn't hear him say he was set up yet. Okay. Driver of the Camry, roll all your windows down now. That'd be funny if the person up front Driver had a Camry, Driver of the Camry, too. roll your windows down now. It's like, bruh, it's too late now. It's like, they got your license and all that. They, it's like, you're going to get found. It ain't like you got like a billion dollars where you could just go get you a private jet and fly up out the country and things like, nah, bro. You out here driving around in a Camry. It's like, you're, you're not going to make it far. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. The second officer attempted to reason with the driver for another full minute. That's when the situation escalated. I just saw the front wheels move. You want to grab my sticks and try and slide them under the car? Yeah. On driver's side, in case they try and take off. A third officer approached the vehicle with stop sticks, designed to puncture the tires if the suspect attempted to flee. Hmm. 146, we got sticks in front of the vehicle right now. Oh, yeah, now try driving. Don't mess this car up. That's so weird, though, why they would, like, do some stuff like that. Put another person's life in da uh, danger. Reverse! Oh, I think they, they got, like... It looks like they might got two of the tires. At least one. That's crazy, man. They Look at all that traffic. No, they cutting through traffic. This is literally my childhood growing up. Just me sitting down watching police chases on TV and stuff. I don't know why it was like cartoons. Oh, they had another one out. Oh, wow. Cartoons, action pack movies, and all that other stuff. Now I was sitting down watching cops. Cops and World Wildest Police Chases. I think that might have been another show. They moving though. That that's that type of stuff where it's like, I, I this ain't recommended because it's like you crash and put somebody else's life in danger. That's on you. So that's why it's like you out here stealing and you know doing all this other stuff. And it's like, fam, is it really necessary? Well, you could just be going to a nine to five. Like that's just people that just don't like to work. I'm like, it's my thing is this. Yeah, it's you know I didn't have my fair share, and that's why I found my career, which is content creating. Because I'm like, yeah, job. That that is one thing that I can say is that a job is never promised unless you have a career that and it's that's not gonna put you in prison. Then fam, you know, like yeah, just continue with that career. Because, yeah, it was like I had um, a good paying cafe job in Seattle, but because of the pandemic, I ended up losing that job. So that's why I was like, OK, well, I got to find a career. I found content. I already was doing content creating, but at least with this, I'm like, you know, yeah, it's like if I mess up, it's on me. But it's like it ain't on some stuff where it's like I'm not going to lose my job or anything unless, yeah, unless I don't know, you know, YouTube's just on some stuff where it's all like, oh, yeah, we're shutting down and Twitch streaming is shutting down. But I'm like, I found all aspects of content creating that I could get into. So I just did not settle for YouTube. I am also on other platforms, but... 
yeah, I just think that, you know, there's just people out there, it's like, you're gonna have to have that, like, instead of having that drive to, you know, driving down the road, speeding, and, you know, stealing and all that stuff, have that drive to, like, work and do something productive and things. Yeah. Yeah. That's that type of stuff where it's like they could put their life in danger, they could put other people's lives in danger. They just don't know. And footbell, footbell, footbell. Three occupants. How you gonna get out the car and trip and fall? They had ran too. If they, if they wouldn't have tripped and fell, they had ran. Westbound and the driver took off going eastbound. Officers began that's how, and that's how you know you should not be my thing is this if you ain't even coordinate enough to get out of a car and just run you should not be out there and I'm not saying like oh well if I'm a track star then yeah I should know you shouldn't run period but you definitely shouldn't be you know doing no crimes or doing no crazy stuff if you're gonna get out the car and trip sent and fall, dogs like. to find some trace of where the driver might have ran That'd be funny if that dog was even doing all that. That dog's like, you never take me on walks anymore. It's like, like let's just let's just let's just be a you know a human a human and a dog. We just going for a walk a walk right now. Yeah, I think so. Funny if he was hiding in one of them trash cans. Hey, get your hands up! Oh, hands no. up! Hands up! You gonna get bit? Come on! Come on! Get your hands up! I see you behind the garbage can. Face away from me! Face away! Face away! Show me your hands! I was close, like I, I, you know, I, I don't know, me though, I'm because I'm gonna be smart. I'm like, okay, let me, you know. Try to just hide in the garbage. It's gonna stink, but it's like I'm really not trying to go to jail. I'm gonna be in that garbage can like that. Like, okay, I think I can, you know, maybe hold my breath, hold my nose and things, wait it out. But then if you start hearing the helicopter, then it's like, okay, you might as well just get out at that point. Yep. Get on your knees. Drop down your knees. Keep your hands in your back. I mean, I just, you know, a cop shouldn't be rough, period. But it's name? like, at the same time, it's like, you don't put all these people's lives in danger speeding down. Because it's like, it just took one time for you to lose control. Next thing you know, you're hitting like a family of four. And then it's either the kid or one of the parents where it's like, yeah, you know, now they got to come up with funeral arrangements and things. What's your name? People don't be sitting down thinking. What's your name? I get some water. Okay. I just want to make sure I see that the top was ripped. Was that? For, did you get bit by the dog at all? Anywhere? No? Okay. I just want some. Okay, we'll, we'll take care of that in just a second, all right? I'm just confirming that you have, you, yeah, you didn't get bit, My that was already there. Okay. okay, all right. Stand up for us. All right. You want to continue? Uh, we only had one going this way, so I think this is, yep. Check here for another evidence. So, so what, what caught me was, you know, I, I saw what you saw. Like, oh, he definitely is interested. Yeah, he pulled He's hard definitely and, interested. And then, and then I came around, and I'm like, okay, there's nothing there. And, and I didn't see, I couldn't tell it's a I person here. Either. But then when I got to here, I could see what looked to be. Because he uh, barked, and I'm yeah. like, oh, she's barking at something. Imagine yeah, being the person that lives in this house, and you wake it up from a nap. You're like, who? That don't sound like nobody I know. You open up the window, you just see two cops and a dog, and it's like. Did I do something? Like I, I could have sworn last night I was playing Grand Theft Auto. I don't, you like I don't think I did nothing. Like no, I was playing the game last night. Like you gotta call up all your friends. While like, hey, we were playing Grand Theft Auto last night, right? Like that, all that stuff we did was in the game, though, right? Like we, we didn't steal no cards or do no crazy. Like that was in the game. They were like, yeah, what are you telling? Like, oh, okay, just yeah, my bad. My heart was but racing. I was scared. So you know, you half asleep. You don't really be thinking. Your, and knees out in front, sitting down. Yeah. 
We have been able to confirm that he is indeed a good boy. I was like, oh, there's something there, you know? Yep. Oh, man. That a good boy, yeah. As for the suspect, Dariana Anderson was arrested, and when her vehicle was searched, officers found men's clothing with tags still attached. Her bond was set at $1,500. All individuals in this video are presumed innocent. <laughs> like, Whoa, yeah, yeah. Right in the corner. <laughs> yeah. It was a gar there's a garbage can there and tucked behind that. Yeah. So Yeah, it's like that, you know. And I yeah, cause even uh like out here, oh my god, like bro, the uh the theft out here, it's like even cause no, it was when um the Brianna Taylor and George Floyd riots was going on. And, uh, no, like, people, they was out here in Washington cutting up. Like, there was, uh, the, um, when they was in Seattle, and, yeah, people, they was, like, busting through the Nordstrom's building. And I'm thinking to myself, like, what does that have to do with Breonna Taylor? That's how you know that's, that's their own separate thing. They're all like, okay, yeah, the cops, they're all focused on them. Let's just go over into this building and, you know, start robbing and doing all this other extra stuff. And I'm like... Yeah, I, I, I just, I didn't get that. And I was all like, yeah, it was funny. I think that's what a lot of stores that they need to have. It's just, you know, some sort of like security force, whether it's like kind of like how when, well, when the Nike store was um um open in Seattle, they had like these big like Samoan and freaking black guys just like surrounding the whole building. And I'm like, either that or like some like security where they're like borderline cops, but at the same time, like, you know, they still got, you know, their security thing going. But anyways, now nah, yeah, that was a pretty wild video. Make sure if you guys haven't go subscribe to Midwest Safety for more videos like this. Like, subscribe to me too, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and peace.